peace never lasts long until the day you die. That's the law of the world we grew up in. Crime, murder, destitution, take your pick. Around every corner, the smell of puke, piss, blood, tits. A world where trust is an illusion and hope is the faded gray cloud on a rainy day. In my world, people never make it out, no matter how hard they fight. I know someday somebody will make it out for good. I don't know who, but that someone will need to be one hell of a fighter. It's finally coming together. Yeah, it's great. You know, our family's been doing business for how long now? I don't know. My pops, your pops. It's been a while. About time me and you started. It's been crossing us for years, man. He had half my crew whack because I wanted 50%. It's about time we put this town together. You don't make up for business. Seth's business, bro. I don't know about Seth. I don't trust Seth. You guys have been in direct contact with him. What are you saying? Listen, man, everyone has that philosophy to divide and conquer. You gotta stay together. Understand? So it's the same right thing. Where's Seth? You hear that? Hold on, hold on. You don't know what Seth is. Why don't you go back there, see where he is? All right. Check it out. What's that? Yo, you setting us up, man? What are you fucking with me, dude? Hey! What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, Mr. Kelly. I'm tired of playing these games, man. Where's Mr. Seth? You tired of playing games? I tell you what, I have someone here who's gonna praise this situation. Gentlemen, Mr. Seth would like to give you a membership. Bring him over. But you, Mr. Kelly, your membership is expired. <laughs> I don't know how much he's paying, but I can double it. You know what? Take him up on his offer.
want to do this? Mr. Seth doesn't take things like this lightly. I don't care what Seth takes. Consider this my resignation. Look, I understand that the fights may be taking a toll on you. We can get you out of them. You know it's not about the fights. It's about the rest of the bullshit he has me doing. That comes with the territory, James. You should know that. You're the best we have. I really advise you to- Wes! Listen, I told you. I'm done. I'm out. James! You've been told what happens to people who walk out on them. Goodbye, Wes. Back to bed. <clears throat> What's wrong? Hey, come back to bed. James. I know we're going through some tough times. But we'll be okay. We always are. Come. I've got to go see someone. Listen, Frankie, I already told Ace that I would have the rest of my due in a few weeks. I told him that, and he said it was okay. He said- I don't give a damn said, what Ace said. You forgetting, Hunter? He's my partner. And when he told me that you're falling behind on your payment, I told him I wasn't happy. If you don't pay him, he don't pay me, and I take that shit very personal. So, it's like we got a problem. Whatever it is, I deal with Ace, not with you. Is that so? But you ain't dealing with Ace right now. You're dealing with me. But it isn't Wesley. Never thought I'd see your sleazy ass again. Afternoon, Frankie. How are you? What the fuck do you want? Need you back, Frank. You need me back for what? I already made my amends with Seth. We parted on mutual terms. He let me go on and do my own thing. We need you back for one last job, Frankie. 
Just one more, and that you don't understand the word no. The fuck you laughing for? You really think he didn't need you anymore? He just told you like because he likes fucking with people. The reason he let you go because he found someone a lot better, but then he walked away from us, and that's the problem we have to deal with right now. But you, he never let you out of his sight. He has all his previous employees follow him constantly in case he might need them again, you dumb fuck. You listen to me, you little shit. You tell that big bad motherfucker that I'm on my own. I'm not doing shit for him no more. You understand? You know how he works, Frank. So I guess we all learned something new. Who the fuck is this? I told you, Mr. Seth cannot take no for an answer. Is he supposed to do something with me? Standing like that? Looking like a superhero? Let me try to walk past this motherfucker. Finish, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can go to Mexico, go anywhere, and he won't come bother you, he won't come hunt you down. We we'll have to go out there anyway. He's a big guy, but don't worry. You won't be working alone. You'll be working with Mason. This motherfucker that just kicked my ass, I gotta work with him? This motherfucker just whipped your ass six days to Sunday. I'm going to give you both the address so y'all can go take this down. What the fuck you standing there for? Let's go. You're judging me because I'm leaving? I'm not judging you. I'm just wondering if you're doing the right thing. I mean, you don't know what it's like. He comes home in the middle of the night, beat up as a dog, and I don't even know if he's gonna come home or if he's gonna end up in the hospital. Do you know what that's like for me? I bet that's hard. I just can't put up with this bullshit anymore. I need some peace of mind. Hmm. I mean, I just want to start over. We want to start over. And who knows, maybe start a family or something? When? As soon as we can, as soon as we get the money, that is. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's already saved up a lot, but still not enough to get out of here. Look, if you need some money, I, I, I can give you some. I could never take your money. I mean, the bar is hardly making it and you're just, you're barely making it on your own. I'll be okay. It's just I'm so tired of you coming in here, getting all wasted because you're so depressed all the time. It's up to you. I just want to let you know I'm here for you. We'll figure it out. We always do. It's just a little complicated right now, but I know that we'll make it work. All right? So don't worry. Thanks for the drink. I gotta go. Um, I love you. Pick up your phone later when I call you up. You're gonna be okay? Stop worrying. It'll be okay. Love you. What do you want me to do? Rat fucking up. This nigga got me tight. 
Trizzy? King, where's he at? He's coming. I'm telling you, yo. I don't even know why the fuck you want to make deals with this clown. Damien, I told you. We need the space by Dipmars, all right? Relax yourself. Yo, I'm fucking relaxed. Don't tell me to relax. I'm just not desperate to make deals with clown-ass motherfuckers, you feel me? Uh, Jesus, enough, all right? It's just business. Jesus, get, can't you just take a look at the bigger picture for once? Croc? Man, I see plenty of pictures, but I don't like seeing pictures of goddamn clowns. You understand what I'm saying? You feel me? What about that jack of a Chris? Goddamn. Yo, you're not gonna stop, are you? <laughs> you know what I love most about the El Diablo game? I sure know how to answer that. If it isn't Jimmy fucking fingers. Link, as usual. How's it going, Diego? Oh. And that jack of between Chris and Demon? The hospital insurance is gonna cover that real well, I sure. Fuck you, Jimmy. Lucky we ain't run your ass over with the ice cream trucks, you fucking clown. You see what I mean? Always entertaining. Yo, this motherfucker getting me real tight, yo. I'm about to pull this phone for a clock. Damn it, stop. Damn it, stop. Shit. Control your crazy ass for 10 minutes, all right? I'm serious. Relax. Jimmy, look. We didn't come here to fucking entertain you, all right? So how about we cut all the jokes and we get right down to business, okay? I agree. So what do you got? Well, as we agreed, three bags of our product right in there. We have access to your corner on Dip Mars for a few months for our business. Excellent. You know, you always been a good guy. Good guy to do business with. You know what? Come through. Cool. However, I decided to change a few things. I just don't think three bags worth any of my space. What? So, cutting it down to a month. Yo, I knew this shit was gonna happen. Yo, what's about to happen to you, motherfucker? Hold on, Damien, hold on. Oh. Let's not lose control, all right? We're negotiating here. Man, fuck your negotiation, rat fucker. Hold Yo, on. Diego, hold on. You gonna take this shit right here? Hold on. Jimmy, listen. Why didn't you say this before? I was under the impression that we were good on our deal. Jimmy, what the hell's going on? I'll show you what's going on. See, beautiful. Yes. What's up? You get my message about the loan? Oh, you got me fucking kidding um, me, man. Hendrix. <laughs> James will be grateful for it. Okay? 
Look, I don't, I don't have time for this petty shit. I got Hendrix. things to do. Hendrix, Hendrix, you know James had a hand in getting you to where you are. You owe him. You owe us, and I'm not leaving until I get something. Look, bitch, don't come in here talking all tough and shit, all right? I'm not gonna get pushed in some type of corner just because your stupid ass boyfriend messed up. All right, you must be out of your pretty little damn mind. Poor James, constantly being chased by motherfuckers left and right, while I'm here just chilling, relaxing, living life. Something neither of you get to do because you're always on the run. Mm. That's what you're gonna do, just leave your boy high and dry? <laughs> Look, we make mistakes, and we pay for our mistakes. All right? Mm -hmm. All right? I'm not gonna throw away all the respect that I accumulated through all these years for somebody else's mistake. Are you crazy? Oh, yeah? What respect? Yeah. What respect? The same respect that lets me sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Unlike yourself. And the same respect that has people coming to me for help. Like yourself. Mm -hmm. James could have got the same respect as me. He would have came up with me, but he didn't. You know something? He didn't get up with you because he's not a lad. And he doesn't fuck people over. Because, mm -hmm. yo, get this bitch out of my face before I you do know something. something? Yo, you get me you really. You know something, Hendrix? I don't even want your money because I know you're going to get yours. Because rats always do. Mm -hmm. And I don't want your diseased, dirty ass money bringing me bad luck and following me around anyway. So thank you. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, great. Got it. Thanks for the info. Check around there if we don't get to the at the shop. Hendrix, huh? He's been embezzling for some time now, has he? Yes, sir, he has. Well then, we collections on the two. Listen, uh, I know we didn't get off on the right foot back there. But you kicking me and shit. But I gotta say, what you did back in that alley, that was some sweet moves you did. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry I had to kick your butt. No, you're not. You're right. I'm not. I get it. I get it. And you're just doing your job. This doesn't make us friends, buddy. You sure as hell don't. But I can respect another fighter who's better than me. Thanks. I'd appreciate that. Where'd you learn to do that stuff anyway? Uh, I was in the military, and before that, I started Taekwondo in 1989. And since then, it's been just straight Taekwondo training. And now you're stuck here doing this steak out bullshit. Yep. What? Frankie, I need you and Mason at the Hendrix shop. What about the one last job you told me to do? The last job is coming, but I need you to do this one first. Hey, man, don't be yanking my chain, man. I can smell your bullshit through this phone. No argument. Just do it. All right. All right, fine. We'll be there. We'll be there. We got to go. Now get some guy named Hendrix. Some low-level rat who probably pissed off Seth. Start the car, let's go.
How are you, Jim? I'm all right, Mr. Khan. Hanging in there. Good. You like to hear that. I got what you asked for. Me and Chris really appreciate this. Oh, not a problem. You guys know why do you guys uh, heading to? I don't know. Someplace nice, maybe the Caribbean. Oh, of course. Uh, go somewhere where you can find peace. That was a shock. It's okay. Um, slow. I know you're taking a huge blow for this, but I really appreciate what you're doing for us. No worries. I'm um, glad to help you out. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You too. Good. All is well, you know, a little bullshit here and there, but what's going on? You know, I got to talk to you about that thing with Seth the other night with the money. May I help you gentlemen? You do know this is the appointment only, right? Uh, you know what, today I think it's walking. Walking. <laughs> oh, y'all are too funny. I got you walking right here. Bro. Oh, he got a little 38. What you gonna do with that, huh? Don't make me shoot you. What are you doing here, Jimmy? How you doing, Sa? Pissed off now that you're here. <laughs> what the what? fuck do you want? Whoa! You have quite the attitude, don't you? Jimmy, I ain't gonna ask you again. And if I have to ask again, it'll be the last question you ever hear. Relax, relax. Relax, son. It's one of two of What makes you think I want to talk to you? To be honest, it's in your best interest. 
My interest? Oh, don't tell me this is about the joint territory bullshit. You know what's good for business. It's one part of the border, and I'll give you Jimmy, that. my dad already turned you down when you talked to him about sharing territory. So why the fuck are you coming back here, wasting your time, and talking to me? Well, right. I just figured maybe you can convince him. You're shitting me, right? Please tell me he's shitting me. You have some real fucking balls, you know that? I ain't accent. What? Do you know where you are? You're in BTK territory, motherfucker. He's done. Well, then go get him. As a matter of fact, you're the messenger. <laughs> Stupid fuck. We're finished. You too, bitch. The only reason I'm not firing back at you is because I have brains. Men only know how to bark. That's all they ever do. I'm a little more evolved than that. I prefer to study people, to measure them, so I can figure out how to do real damage. And that's why she's the best. <laughs> bye bye. Drizzy, this is Gina. Gina, this is Drizzy. She's been a part of our crew for a long time. She went out to Florida, took care of a few jobs for me. You're now she's back. Done. You're done! You're done! You're done! Oh! How beautiful! This view is what I miss most about this. From when I lived in the city. Actually, it's the only thing that I miss. Uh, uh, hmm. 
Now would you agree? It's a car. to your store the other day to find one little thing. You know, where that fucking greeting James is supposed to be this afternoon. Now picture my amusement. Will my men find stashes of thousands of dollars that you stole from? I needed the money to give my store up. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you sweat, man. You sure sweat a lot when you're on your knees pleading for mercy. I hate the stench of sweat gives off. It's the worst kind. Coming from all that shit you people cook. The more you sweat, the nastier the stench. And you? <laughs> you sweating like a pig right now. Do you know you're sweating like a pig? But it's okay. It's okay. I'll tolerate it. You want to know why? Because I love the pleading and the begging that causes it. The more you beg, the more you sweat. Raise up. And when I really start to smell that shit, that's when I know you've reached that point. <laughs> that point when you realize that your life is no longer yours. Your life belongs to us. And it's we who are deciding whether you gonna walk away with it or whether we gonna keep it. Raise up. And when you reach that point, <laughs> that's when I start to get off. Raise up! And that's when I start to get off. Well. I guess it's time for my little nostalgia trip to coming to an end. Open yet. I'm looking for somebody named Chrissy. I heard she hangs around here. I'm sorry, but that person doesn't work here. You don't expect me to know every customer's name, do you? I just chat with them a bit until they just leave me alone, you know? You know what I mean? You can't expect me to remember everyone's name. I mean, I just chat with them because I have to, you know, until they stop. Well then, pour me a drink. 
and we can talk a little. Hi, what's this about? Relax, honey bunches. He just likes to get to know people. He's very friendly. Likes to leave a lasting impression. I mean, how long is this going to take? Well, like you said, until I leave you alone. Hey, babe. Yeah. Did you, did you see your cousin? The one with the funny accent? Yeah. I saw her the other day. Yeah, she tried to give us money. I wouldn't take it, of course. You took a pass of twins, you know that, right? No. She has blonde hair. Afternoon, James. You know, usually I would do a drug in my table. But for you, I'll make an exception. You son of a bitch. After all the dirty work I did for you, all the money I made you, now you come to my motherfucking house. You show your face in my motherfucking house? Get away from her, motherfucker! Get off me, son of a bitch! I see what you got here. He always did like him. Hardcore. Only wants to take your bitch. Yeah, that's why you fuckers need to come in here. Five of you fuckers! Fuck Shut you up, up one on one! You can keep talking all that talk. Fuck you! Shut up. Fuck you! You don't quite measure up to be doing that kind of talking. Where is it? Get your bitch out of my fucking house! I'll have unfinished business. That's right. Send these runner packed pack and we'll sell us like men. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy to the tough guy. Because if I'm with you dead, I will cut you through a long time ago. And what will you learn from that? Nothing! What the fuck am I supposed to learn from you? That we burn the hand that feeds you, the same hand comes back and turns your life away! I wanted something better for myself. I wanted a way for you. It's not what you want. It's what I want. And in 24 hours, I want you to clip Vladimir Reznor. Oh, Chrissy here? No! She's dead. Let it go, my no! fucking no! between you and me! No! No! No!
Mr. Razanov? They changed the time of the meeting, sir. It's happening in 20 minutes. So as you can see, Mr. Rosanoff, as the deal that we're offering is going to be beneficial for all of us. Have you been listening to anything we've been saying? Look, I agree that the 15% that you want in return for your protection is very generous, especially for these days. But I've taken the liberty of contacting a few of your previous associates. And the reviews, I must say, were not too thrilling. So, if you want a firm percentage rate on the shipment gross, I'm going to need assurances. Uh, assurances? I, I don't think you understand the deal that we're actually on. Hey, Roger, I don't care about the deals. I care about the protection. And from what I've heard, there were many things that went wrong with your previous clients. Shipments that were tampered with, shipments that went missing under your eye. Now, I'm not an idiot to go into business with someone with this kind of record without obtaining assurances for my risk. Mr. Rajnov, no business is perfect. But overall, our track record has, has been not been to my liking. And it's precisely that I'm no idiot, which is why I am thriving in this business while so young. Unlike my father. Don't condescend to your father, Vlad. He's a good man and I know him very well. Well, he's a no good father of mine and I know him better. So don't condescend me, Roger. So, gentlemen, when are you able to get my assurances? That's when we may resume talks on business deals. For now? Good day. Chrissy? Hey, Victor. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Listen, I need to speak to Alex. Well, where the hell is he? All right, listen. Have him get back to me as soon as possible. This is an emergency. Where the fuck is Jimmy Fingers? Right, playing with himself. That's why they call him Jimmy Fingers. This kid in the woods. Take control, I like that. Savannah, this is the wire. How am I doing? I'm pretty fucking behind schedule. I gotta wait months for your stupid ass so we can do business. You got the stuff? Excuse me? Where's your stuff at? What the fuck do I look like to you? You right. 
You right. I'll get the stuff. Oh shit! Oh shit! Smoky, you will no longer be putting out any more fires. You see, I'm Papa Bear. You know what that means? Fuck you. I know. Fuck you. I know. That's that's something you would like to do. I know. But today, I'm gonna oh. fuck you. <laughs> oh man. I'm Papa Bear. You. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy Yeah. I'm pretty flustered over the phone. What's up? Where is this from? Hey, well, it's just a game, right? I'll be out with you. So, Seth wants you to kill Vlad in exchange for Chris. Yeah. Like, Why'd you do it anyway? The money. Ah, yes. <laughs> the ever eternal <laughs> golden reason. <music. laughs> well, it didn't turn out to be so golden. Never is. I mean, come on. You really didn't think he'd find you? You know, I know he'd been living off the grid, but listen, he wouldn't be who he is if he didn't know how to get shit done or how to find people. You know what I mean? So, so. Same old James. <laughs> Listen, 
Alex. I know I'm asking a lot. I know you and Vlad are close. You know what you're asking me to do? Taking the basement. Ooh. Let me in, Frankie. Seth so said we have to keep it locked up. I'm not going to let it out. I just need to teach this bitch a lesson. Seeing how tough you were. Thought I'd come down and give you a chance to show me. This is your chance to show me what you really got. You know something? No! Oh. Nothing on me. But you're good though. I give you that much. Such a shame, such a pretty little thing like you to end up with such a loser. Mm -hmm. He's such a loser. How come your man was always praising him to be the best, huh? Yeah, because he's that good, right? He's that good, that's why Seth was chasing him like a little bitch. Seth wasn't chasing him. <laughs> like he could have had it bitch. all. <laughs> he could have been on top. But then he decided to walk away. I would have had my fun. Oh well. In another life, I guess.
aging as well. All right, listen, um, I'll do it. All right, I'll go talk to Black Fleet. It's a beautiful night tonight, fellas. I cannot wait to these jokes, fella. Come on. Yup, it's gonna be a lot of blood. Better buy your baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, you never try baby wipes? They clean the blood right off. I think that's the reason they're for babies. Because they always getting hurt. <laughs> Fizzy, what are you doing? The fuck does it look like I'm doing, King? You gonna haze right before job? What, is there a law against it? You're crazy, bro. Tell me about that girl you went out with last night. What's uh... up with that? She was Dominican. Nice. Took out the dinner. We flirted all night. Told her about the fish salad joke. Oh my god. That joke is so lame. You couldn't have chosen another one? Made a laugh. She probably was laughing at the stupidity of it. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Yo, they coming. So what's going on, Jimmy? Why the fuck you bring us all out here for? Good evening, Hannibal. How I like treating you. How about you suck on my dog's dick, Jimmy? Now, now. Is that a friendly greeting to a friend? Is he no, fucking we... shitting me right now? Please tell me that's another one of your lame jokes. You know we all hate your guts, Jimmy. And good evening to you too, Scarlet. Bite me. Seriously, Jimmy. Why'd you call this meeting so abruptly? You know we only do this when it's something serious that needs to be dealt with. Finally! Somebody who talks to me as a friend. How's it going, Alonzo? Nah. I'm just more patient than you. What's the deal, Jimmy? Why you bring us all out here? Well, Alonzo's right. I brought you all here for a specific reason. As you know, you all know who I work for. We have Hannibal of the Black Saber team. We have Saber, and we have Alonzo of the Black Street Clips. And look who decided to show up late. Come here, Hunter. Where's Ace? Hey, Hunter, how's your face? 
I heard they got manhandled by Frankie. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I want to discuss one danger we all are facing. Incompetence. Shit in the city is cracking. Shit is slowing down. Our brothers in the biz that didn't show are slacking because of laziness and incompetent work ethic. Everyone's getting affected and everything's getting infected with laziness. And that's why the gangs in New York are being torn apart. Bosses are being locked up left and right. Not fucking street thugs, not fucking lieutenants, fucking bosses. And no one seems to care to tighten the grips of their turf. Because everyone's getting lazy. And if this persists, it's going to run us all down into the ground. I've been noticing this. And it's been going on for a while. So... It's time for some restructuring. Oh, please, you are so full of shit. Restructuring? You're the one who's been causing trouble for all of us. And you have the balls to stand up there like some motherfucking scar face and tell us we need to get our shit together? Jimmy, I'm gonna tell you something my mama used to tell me. The one who talks the most shit is the one who bullshits the most. You're standing there talking down to all of us for falling behind. Meanwhile, you've been fucking up. And your fuck-ups have been causing problems for all our flow. Fuck-ups? So maybe you're the one who needs to work on how you do things, not the other way around. <laughs> fuck-ups? Fuck-ups? What fuck-ups? Don't even get me started on that shit you pulled in the Bronx two months ago. Because of your big mouth, my people had to clean up some serious heat in one of our busiest areas. Don't forget you're running with that former NYPD sergeant. Yeah, the one you taught limb from limb, he was my mole, asshole, and it took me a lot of time to plant him. How, how was I supposed to know he was your mole? You left him with half a face. I couldn't even plant him again after that. Hey, what's up, Ace? Good evening, gentlemen, ladies. I can see everyone raining down on Jimmy, as usual. <laughs> and because of you, I lost my access to information. I gotta admit, that affected a lot of our business too, Jimmy. I really wanted to kick your ass. Not to mention what you did to Ramon. I had a joint share in that territory. Look, guys, everything that I do is to better my business. Almost. But Jimmy, whatever happened to Ramon affected my business. And you don't better your flow by costing somebody else theirs. You've been a thorn in our side for far too long, Jimmy. I think he's been more than a thorn. <laughs> Baltazar, teach Freddy Cooper over here a lesson. You guys see what kind of bullshit comes up when we get together like this? That's what I'm talking about. Take care of these motherfuckers. I'm out. Get out there, Hunter. What? I'm serious. Get rid of those motherfuckers for good. What are we gonna do? 
save Jimmy's ass, I guess. Best friend, <laughs> we having a good old time, right, buddy? <laughs> you need help over there? Are you serious? Ah, all right, fine. I'm coming. You freaking doof. <laughs> Are you serious, Mota? Break a nail? Damn, Juicy, what the fuck, man? I thought you had my back. You damn near broke it. What are you talking about? You got your ass whooped. I fucking know, Win Chun. Listen, man. I was all fancy. You got one in here and there. I mean, but I was all fancy and getting it in there. All I'm saying, man, is have my fucking back. You just fucking stood there. Hey, go fuck yourself. Next time, just have my fucking back. the D to Zhang's shop. And that's the only territory you're getting from us. Good. Your side gets Kyle's shop. That's promised. And what about Jimmy? You know what, Sai? Your father's a good man. I respect him for that. But one thing I'm against? He didn't teach you any manners. For example, when you come into somebody's car, it's polite to greet them with a hello. Don't fuck around with me, Seth, okay? Fuck you. After what Jimmy did to me, 
My father was ready to wage war on him, and then your entire territory would have been compromised. But he was nice enough to let you deal with it instead. So don't you fucking talk to me about matters. Like I said before, don't worry about Jimmy. Yeah. You better hope he's not gonna be a problem. Because if you don't get rid of him, you're gonna end up worse. You hear me, King Kong? Hold your ah. tongue, sir! Ah. You know good as well. If I wanted to, I could send you back to hell farther in pieces. <laughs> My comfort level was starting a war with him is at an all high. In fact, it will be fun for me. So give me your excuse! <laughs> now that our business is done, I bid you a farewell. Now get the fuck out of my car. My manners are still intact, even though after our little disagreements. Uh, uh, you do the same thing. I have one agenda for you. I hope y'all can take me. Y'all can walk. Fuck you, Seth. Oh. <laughs> 
Алексей, не забывай, что нужно все сделать очень правильно. Я понимаю. Понимаешь, мой бизнес уже вообще пошел на нет из-за всего этого. Мне нужны очень компетентные люди. Окей, okay, все будет нормально. Don't tell me not to worry about it. I'll keep you updated. All right, Vlad? Давай, брат. Talk to you later. talk to him all right just uh just wait here i'll let you know listen i am done you fucking hear me i am done that's it what the fuck are you talking about man i'm not trying to hear that you know you had me on one last job then you had me on the hendrix job then i had to babysit your girlfriend what the fuck is this man what i look like some kind of scrub to you you know what that's it fuck this we're done i'm done Down tone, fucker. Frankie. Frankie. God damn it.
It's Seth. Couldn't be here right now. A lot of things going on. A lot of things like what? It's not to be discussed. This motherfucker probably got titties and ass shots. <laughs> 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 You know what I came here for? Stop fucking around. Listen, doggy. I'm Jimmy Fingers, motherfucker. <laughs> You're dead now. You're fucking dead. You're dead. <laughs> motherfucker, throw you out! Golden Boy Neo. Wow. You took out two of my men. I'm impressed. You made it. You did it. Okay. This your last time right here. Good. I don't know where the fuck you came from. You definitely don't work for my boss. See? I like to measure people. And it seems like you're either someone I don't want to fuck with, or I'd love to fuck with. Either way, you could go. I'm not gonna stop you. I don't want to end your life here today, secluded in this shitty-ass garage. I think you deserve a show. Besides, I think I want to get to know you a little better. And to do that, I need to see what you're going to do next. So go ahead. I'm sure our paths will cross again. You're kidding me, right? Look, Vlad, he just wants to talk, okay? Alex, did you forget that James walked out on me to go work for Seth? And now he wants me to help him take him down? And save his girlfriend? That, does this sound like the set of some twisted soap opera to you? Look, I get it, he walked out on you. I understand. But you know what? You finally have the opportunity to take Seth out. Which I know you always want to do. He can lead you straight to him, and all you gotta do is go help him get, get his girl back. This is ridiculous. You expect me to drop everything for that piece of shit who betrayed me? 
Vlad, we all do it in this business sooner or, or later. You can't blame him for that. He went where the, the money was. This is ridiculous. Look, Vlad, he was sent here to kill you. And we both know he could have done that easily, but instead he wants to work with you, okay? So let's just work with him. So you can finally be rid of Seth. <laughs> I can take care of Seth if I wanted to. So you're not gonna help him? He's on his way right now. What, should I tell him you said no? Don't blame me for a fool, Alex. Think I don't know that your friend is outside? <sighs> yeah, he is. So what? Uh, I told him I'll, I'll talk to you. That's it. Well, go look out the window and see if he's still there. I should have known. Yeah, you should have. Where's Alex? Don't worry about him. He was a friend, but I had to let him go. So what? You and Seth are working together now all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that it's all of a sudden? We had this planned out from the start, buddy. What are you talking about? James, when you walked out on me, did you really think I'd let you go? I was always keeping tabs on you, trying to find the best way to punish you. And when you walked out on Seth, it was a perfect opportunity for him, too. So I contacted Vlad. Told him I was going to set him up. Have you to kill him. By kidnapping Chris. And I said, perfect. You see, I always knew you'd come to me for help in order to bring Seth down. So we made you do a full circle for nothing while always knowing that we'd finish you in the end. But it was always our plan to set you up and have you end up here. Helpless. Like a dog. This is our punishment for you, James. Wow. Real impressive. All because I walked away. You were always warned about what would happen if you left. And now, we want to do something real special for you, James. So fucking do it then. But let Chrissy go. What's that going to do with this? No, on the contrary, James. She is part of the punishment. <laughs> but I'll let the two of you decide that. Bring him down. Get the hell out! Get the hell out! Get the hell out! Get down! Look, you got that gun. Shut the hell up! Get off me! Don't hurt her, motherfucker.
position. So, whoever stabs the other one first gets to walk out of here. You've got to be kidding me. Kidding? Do I look like I'm fucking kidding? Pick it up! Or you can pick it up. I really don't give a fuck. But if one of you doesn't stab the other, both of you are going to be dead. Please, no. Okay, I'll do it. What? What do you mean? I'm going to kill myself. No! No, no, please. Please. You have nothing to do with this. You're the one who needs to walk. No. That's not going to cut it, James. I said, one of you needs to stab the other, not yourself. And if that doesn't happen in the next ten seconds, both of you are dead. Please. Fuck, Vlad, haven't you done enough? Let go. Seven. No. You're a sick fuck. Please. Five. No. 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 Sick man. No. 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 Three. What the fuck is your problem? Here's the guy. Let's go. No. 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 One. No. 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 Now finish it! What? Finish it. No, I can't! Okay. I can finish it! I'm gonna let you rot here. Did you get what you wanted? Yeah. 
Everyone else in your life. Because you don't trust anyone. And neither do I. That's why we're no good together. Sorry, sugar. Do you regret walking out of us, James? Huh? No. Do you? No. And why is that? Because I found out who my friends are. And who are they? Done. You're quite a survivor, aren't you? You make it sound like it's a bad thing. On the contrary. Thank you for your good work, Miss Raisa. It was never about the money, you know. The money was just an excuse. Oh, <laughs> I know. You were afraid she was going to get rid of you, So you'd rather never find out, huh? <laughs> Just don't forget who your friends are. Don't have any. <laughs> is definitely something but in the end none of them stay it's a curse I'm afraid oh well at least I get to watch you die baby. oh yeah how do you figure <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mason, I got one more for you. I know it's last minute. Kill this motherfucker. Don't worry about it. My guy just put the full pay to your account. Think I don't have a phone? Gina, wonderful to see you. What's the news? We have a slight issue. Jimmy Fingers is dead. <laughs> I'm glad that clown is dead. Yes, sir, but it wasn't me. Well, it looks like we solved that problem. Nice. Now look at you. Shut the fuck up. We both try to teach you what happens to you. Will you walk away from us? You mean to tell me you didn't see any of this coming? I saw this coming. And that's why I walked out. Don't you see what pointless bullshit this all is? You're all losers. Literal. You all lose in the end. Because you end up fucking each other. Yeah. You understand? 
what it takes to get to the top. Fuck! You know what? Let it go, man. Holy shit. You're at the top, and now you're at the bottom. So shut the fuck up. Yes. You wanna fight me for what I did to your girl, right? Nah. She turned out to be a bitch. Face it. Kill him. You only paid me for one job, alright? You want me to kill him? Call your guy again. Call your guy again, I'll kill him. Christ. Wow. Face it. You know what? Don't even worry about it. What the fuck? Shot Shoot. him? Shot him? Every time this guy sends me on a job, there's always some bullshit. Hendrix, Jimmy Fingers, there's always some bullshit. And I'm tired of it. Okay, I don't need the head into it. You fucking shot him? Serious? Say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose 
I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road. Oh, oh, oh. I'm hitting these licks, I'm getting this dough, dough, dough. I'm hitting these models, I'm swerving these hoes. Oh, swerve, 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 swerve. They say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose. Oh, oh. I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road She told me give it to her slow While she watch the chain up on me glow Bank rollers on me, whoa My revolver is a 44 Pull up in convertible Then park in front of condo They screaming I'm about to blow And every everybody knows But I done been homeless before I ain't had nowhere to go I really had nowhere to go I was out here on my own I'm never going back to bro I'm stacking this money, I'm counting these hundreds You play around, you getting smoked My shooter pull up and have all of y'all running I get that green light of go. Now you injured like D-Rose All of my niggas get busy Kicking back, sipping this any. You overlooking the city Your baby mama so friendly She say she wants shoes to Sebi She love me, don't tell me she love me And she gonna love me uh. I'm hitting these licks, I'm getting this dough I'm hitting these models, I'm swerving these hoes swear, swear, swear. They say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road I'm hitting these models, I'm swerving these hoes They say I'm that nigga, I say I suppose I'm back on my jug, I'm back on the road Whoa, look how they changed on you